The thought that infection can cause mental problems is foreign to the training of both psychiatrists and infectious disease doctors. I was trained as a Freudian psychoanalyst, which was a very different kind of training. And most infectious disease doctors have very little psychiatric training. Your average infectious disease doctor maybe spent a month in a state hospital uh, 30 years ago when they were a medical student, and that might be the limit of their training. So there is this close correlation, it seems, between infections provoking the immune system, those immune effects causing psychiatric illness, which in turn may cause suicide or other psychiatric illness. We we therefore see a disease that starts in an a infectious disease doctor's office and ends up in a psychiatrist's office. So what we need is infectious disease doctors need to learn more psychoimmunology and psychiatry, and psychiatrists need to learn more psychoimmunology and infectious disease. And psychoimmunology is what bridges the gap, looking at how the immune system affects brain functioning. And psychoimmunology is a, we're looking at how different transmitters affect brain functioning. We think of neurotransmitters, but one set is the neurotransmitters, the other set is the immune system. There are two parallel communications that impact brain functioning, and we need to understand both. And once we look at that, we'll get answers that previously we've been unable to find.